in the world of performance car tuning, bigger isn't always better. Bigger spoilers, bigger turbo, more power. One of my favorite forms of tuning is OEM plus tuning. So you take a standard car, change it up just a little bit. And today, I've got a really great example for you. So today we've got a little bit of BMW M performance in the house. We're looking at a 2016 M135i. This is the LCI version and it's the facelift. We've just seen some great upgrades. So let's have a closer look at what this Bavarian beast is all about. So as you can see, this 135i has got the complete murder out look. Around the front, it's got the tinted headlamps giving it that nice aggressive eye look. Around the bottom, the aftermarket splitter giving it that nice low profile. The kidney grills come from an M4. As you can see, it's a split kidney grill, so a little bit different to the standard setup. Even the BMW badge has got the blacked out treatment. And around the sides, we've got the racing canards, just nodding at BMW's motorsport history. So around the side of the car, you can see the subtle M badging, just giving a hint at what this car is all about. And then being fitted is the M4 side mirrors. I really love this addition because it's got the similar shape to what the wheels is, really complements the setup perfectly. Around the bottom, added on to the standard factory side sills is a splitter to complement the front of the car split. It balances everything out. And then look at these amazing 19 inch radiate wheels being imported from the USA and really suits this car perfectly. So on a side note regarding these amazing wheels, I really like that the owner is stuck to the polished look with a little black detailing around the back of the rim. I mean, usually when guys do put these kind of wheels on a murdered out look, it's all black. It's the wheels black or gunmetal. So these wheels just pop on the black so nicely. So really great touch. So around the rear of the car on the top, you'll find the carbon fiber spoiler, a really great addition. The badges have been given the blacked out treatment. The rear lenses have been given the smoked look. And right at the bottom, the addition of the diffuser to complete this 135 eyes awesome aero package. The interior of the 135 i has remained largely unchanged. And let's be honest, BMW build great interior, so why do you want to mess with it? There's been two very obvious additions though. The red starter button, giving it that nice, cool, racy effect, and these amazing anodized paddle shifters. Just gives that extra little bit of M performance touch in the car. Performance-wise, this 135i has got a tweak drop-in performance air filter. 
It's got an 80 mil exhaust system, custom downpipe, an ATM stage two chip tune, and those amazing looking Akrapovich carbon exhaust tips on the rear. All in all, you're looking at 285 kilowatts and 550 newton meters of torque. So this is the inside of the 135i. And as you would expect in true BMW fashion, super comfortable, great driving position. This is the M135i edition, as I mentioned. So a lot more sporty than its predecessors. And I must say, with a tune that's on this car, it makes it so great to drive. It doesn't matter if you're driving just in the normal mode, you can just cruise along. The mapping's done really well. And if you want to get on a, oh boy, she definitely goes. So the suspension on this car has got a set of H&R lowering springs and it complements the car actually really well. So it stiffens it up just enough so that you get a great performance in terms of handling and road holding. And then when you want to just cruise around, it's supple enough to allow those little bumps and grinds to disappear when you're driving. The car currently is driving on a set of 19 inch Radiate wheels from USA. And with most low profile tires, this is a 35 profile on a 19 inch, you would expect it to be quite bumpy and crashy, but I'm super impressed at how the suspension setup on this car is, that you don't feel that much of a bump or grind as you would with normal tuner cars. So the interior of the 135i, as I mentioned before, it's got the extended panels, it's an accessory on here. Not a BMW accessory, aftermarket accessory, it's been custom made, aluminium mold, anodized, it's red, it's great, it looks like I'm driving something from Batman, to be quite honest. But uh, it does definitely increase the pedal feel when you're shifting gears up or down. The standard pedal shifts are a little bit on the small side, so when you do reach for them and you're trying to change gears, it does make it a little bit awkward, so these just make it so much more accessible. So the tuning on this car has been done really well. Why do I say that? Well, when you're just driving along, you're on a Sunday cruise, you want to enjoy the car, she does exactly what it needs to do. It's not too overly aggressive, it's not too throttle happy. You can just sit back and relax and enjoy the BMW for what it was originally intended for. And then when you put it into sport mode and you want to flip down a gear, oh man, the response is perfect. It's right there on your fingertips, razor sharp. When it comes to BMWs, I must be honest, there's nothing quite like a three litre straight six. Where BMW made their name, super reliable engine and oh my word, what a sound. So it's been a great day out with this 135i and it just goes to show that with subtle mods, you can have a massive impact no matter the car.